Hey guys, Jamie at the Summer Rain channel. Welcome back. Today we're gonna make an after sun lotion that is just jam packed with skin loving ingredients. If you haven't done so already, be sure you hit that subscribe button. I did put a link to my blog down below where I go a little bit more in depth about all the ingredients, why we use them, everything like that. So if you wanna pop over there, that's down in the description box. I also put the recipe down there too for you. Without further ado, let's dive in and learn how to make some after sun lotion. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our distilled water in a heat safe container. To that, we're gonna add the collagen protein. So we use the collagen protein to help with moisturizing our skin and it's also great for helping to repair aged and damaged skin. Aloe powder. I went with the aloe powder because the aloe powder is 100 times concentrated. So you're really getting a whole lot of aloe with just a little bit of the powder. And aloe is great for soothing your skin after being in the sun and our vegetable glycerin. So we use vegetable glycerin because vegetable glycerin is a humectant. What it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and draw moisture to your skin and kind of hold it there, which we really need, especially after being out in the sun. We really wanna get as much moisture back into our skin as we can. Now I'm gonna mix this up just a little bit, but you really don't have to worry about making sure that it mixes in all the way. When we pop this on the double boiler, it's gonna mix in. So we'll set this off to the side for right now. Go ahead and grab another heat safe container. Add your all of them 1000. For the emulsifier in this recipe, I changed it up a little bit and I went with all of them 1000. So the cool thing about this compared to like emulsifying wax and steric acid is it really has a silky smooth texture that it leaves behind. So when you put it on, it's really like a, makes your skin feel really silky smooth and soft. I really love the feeling of this. Shea butter and your argan oil. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pop both of these on a double boiler at the same time. Once your oils are completely melted, you're gonna pull both of these off the double boiler. And we're gonna go ahead and grab a mixing container. Now I do one that's a little bit taller just because we are gonna have the immersion blender in there. To this, we're gonna go ahead and add our water phase. And at the same time, we're gonna go ahead and add the oil phase ingredients. Oop. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our immersion blender and in short bursts, we're gonna start mixing that. Now you're gonna to wanna to start out with like short bursts because if you come in full speed, it's gonna go flying at you. So start out with short bursts, and then as you progress, you'll notice that it'll start to thicken up and you can kind of hold the button down a little bit more. Just kind of play it by feel and you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll like feel it starting to thicken up for you. Into this, we're gonna go ahead and add our fragrance oil. And I, really recommend this fragrance. So normally I'm not too like blah about getting it, but this one, the lime and the, I don't know, it's almost like a coconutty smell. It just really, it's so light and refreshing and just such a great pair with an after sun lotion. I highly recommend that fragrance oil. And give it another mix. Now, before we can add our preservative to this, we have to allow it to cool. So you're not gonna wanna add the preservative until you're at about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Really, anything over that, it's gonna be too warm and then you're gonna compromise your preservative. So I like to just stir it a little bit. Um, you can really just leave it sit here for a few minutes while it cools down. And then once we get to 120, we'll go ahead and add the preservative. And I'm below 120 degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my preservative. And then I'm gonna give this a really good mix, make sure I get it all mixed in there. Now, you might be wondering if you have to have a preservative, and you do, so anytime we're using 
water in a formula, you have to have a preservative, otherwise you're gonna be growing some pretty nasty stuff in here really quick. Now you can tell by the consistency, this is gonna be pretty hard to pour, so I put a baggie inside of a cup, and we're just gonna put the mixture in here and that way we can get it in our container without making a huge mess. <laughs> I've tried to pour it before when it's this thick. It is just a mess. It gets clogged. It's spilling all over and you lose half of your lotion. You can also, if you have a piping bag, you can use that. I just find that like cleanup wise, it's a lot easier when you just use a baggie because you just throw it away after. And we'll go ahead and seal that up. And we're just gonna cut a wee little bit here at the corner. <laughs> Scissors don't wanna cut. Go ahead and grab your container. and then you're just gonna squeeze it all in there. See how much easier this is to get in there? And it can be kind of weird figuring out how to hold the baggie until you get quite a bit of this out of here. And then once you have this in here, I'm not going to put the top on just yet. So this is still just a bit warm. I didn't let it cool down all the way. So I'm going to allow this to cool completely before I put the top on. And the reason why I do that is if you put the top on now, you're going to get a bit of condensation in here, which can cause like bacteria or mold or something like that to grow. So if it's completely cooled, go ahead, put the top on. If it's not, just give it a little bit to cool down before you put the top on. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making and using your own after sun lotion. Bye.